hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so in this video we are going to start with our new playlist that is a job preparation playlist and that will cover all the topics related to the data engineer and data analysis okay so before starting to our first lecture if you haven't subscribed my channel please do subscribe it we are going to cover every topic from a basic to advanced level okay so in our first topic what we are going to start we are going to start with a sql okay so what is this sql sql is nothing but a it is a structure query language okay so let us try to understand first okay so why we use a structure uh, structure query language what is the use of the sql let us try to first understand so the use of the sql is nothing but through sql we will try to interact with a database okay so what is database database is nothing but a in a high level i can say it is a collection of a collection of a table now let us try to understand what is this table table is nothing but a it is a collection of collection of a data that contain okay in the form of in the form of rows and columns okay so this much only you have to remember database what is database database is nothing but a, it is a collection of table what is table table is it is a collection of data that will contain in the form of the rows and the columns for example you know about the excel excel right excel spreadsheet you, you there you will be having a rows you will be having a column and you will be having a data okay that much only you have to remember okay now the types of the database let us try to understand what are the types of the database we have so we usually have a two types of the database one is the relational database and a relational database and the second is second is non relational database non relational database so what is the use of the relational database let us try to first understand relational database here you will be having a data it will collection of it contain collection of a data in form of uh, rows and column okay and also second property is like there will be having relation between the table relation between table okay so suppose you have a employee table and suppose you have a department table okay so there will be some kind of the relation between the employee table and the department table so that you can perform some kind of the joining over there okay there will be some kind of the relation over there so in a relational database generally you will try to get a, some kind of the relational table there with the help of the some kind of the primary key we will try to join it so in a practical session we will try to see more about this how what did the sheet mean about the relation and the relational database and all how actually relation is getting established and how we are actually connecting that actually we will see in a later okay but in a relational database you have to remember the data will be in the form of the row and the column and there will be relation between the table okay now let us try to understand what is the uh, non relational database okay when we talk about the non relational database the value will be having the value will not be having in the form of the rows and column the value will be having you will get to see key value in the form of the key value like uh, uh, like you know about the dictionary key value json okay in the form of the key value you will get to see in the form of the graph you will get to see okay so uh, in a relational database there will be having some kind of the relation between the table but in the non relational there will not be having any kind of the relation between the table okay so these are the major difference between the relational database and the non relational database now when we say uh, a relational database so what are the what are the uh, database which comes under the relational database first is the sql mysql second is the sql server okay and when we talk about the uh, non relational so we have a mongodb apart from that we have a edgebase 
when we also have a cassandra and we have a multiple okay and here we can say we also have a sql light we also have a, a multiple uh, databases are there okay like post we are also there post green sql okay based on that their security purpose based on their speeds and all we have a different kind okay so in our playlist what are the on which database we are going to call we are going with a sql server we are going with a sql server okay okay so whatever the practical we will do we will do in a sql server only okay how to write a query how actually you can perform different kind of the database so the everything we are going to cover with the sql server okay now uh, we have seen like we have a database we have a table we have a, some kind of the relational database okay so but what is the use of the sql what is uh, what do you mean by the sql and the different between the sql versus mysql okay so sql is nothing but with the help of the sql we will try to interact with the mysql sql server sql lite and the postgresql so what is sql sql is nothing but a, it is the way through which we will communicate to our database so this is nothing but a sql okay so with the help of the sql language we will try to interact with a uh, different database so we have a relational database mysql sql server sql lite and a postgres right so there only we will try to interact with the help of the sql query language okay so in next video we will try to start with our practical session and we will try to understand more about it okay